So here's another uh, quick example showing how to use superposition. So in this one, they're asking us to use the superpos superposition theorem to find the current flow through the six ohm resistor. So that's this guy here. So we're assuming that uh, there should be some current flowing through here. IR2 is what we'll call it, and that's what they're asking us to solve for. So let's, uh, let's see how we set this up. So when we do superposition, we consider one source at a time. So for the first one, we want to consider this 21 volt source. So when we do that, any other voltage source in the circuit, uh, we're going to short out. So we treat it as a short circuit. So we can take this voltage source here and just act like it's not there and then come back and just short this out. So now we see we have a six ohm resistor in parallel with a 12 ohm resistor. And then that would be in series with a three ohm resistor. So uh, we can solve this pretty readily. So first we're gonna solve for uh, the equivalent resistance. So this will be REQ. And again, this is for the first source. And that's gonna be three ohms uh, plus six ohms in parallel with 12 ohms. And so when we calculate that, that'll be three plus six times 12 over six plus 12. And when we calculate that out, uh, we're going to get, uh, uh, seven ohms. So that's our total. So now we can use that to determine what the total current coming uh, from this source. So it's I total, we'll call it one. So I total from the first source <coughs> is going to be uh, from Ohm's law, just V over R. And so in this case, that'll be 21 over seven. So that'll be three amps. So that's the total current coming from the source, but we have to remember, you know, once we get to this point here, um, we're going to split the current, right? Some goes this way, some goes this way. So it's a current divider, so we can just use current division. So that means then that I, through R2, uh, from the first source, it's just going to be current division. So remember, current division is we take I total times, I call it R other, which just means it's the branch that we're not interested in, over uh, R all, or all the resistances that are uh, in the divider. So in this case, it's going to be three amps. That's our total. Uh, we're interested in, in the six ohm branch. So then we're going to put the 12 ohm in the numerator. And on the bottom, it'll be six plus 12. And so when we calculate all that out, uh, let's see, we should get we should get two amps. So this is the current from the first source going through the six ohm resistor. So now we need to use superposition and now consider the second source. So we'll go back to the original circuit and start over. And so now this time we're wanting to consider uh, the 42 volt source. So remember when we do uh, superposition, any other voltage sources besides the one we're considering, uh, we short it out. That means it's not there. So in this case, this voltage source then will go away. And we can replace it with a short like this. All right, so now uh, for this source, we should be able to recognize here that we have a 12 ohm now in series with a three in parallel with a six. So as before, we can uh, calculate our equivalent resistance. Again, this will be from the second source or due to the second source. 
and that's going to equal to uh, 12 plus 3 in parallel with 6. So that's 12 plus uh, 3 times 6 over 3 plus 6. And so when we calculate that, we're going to get... Twelve plus two, which will be fourteen ohms. So as before, then we can use that to calculate our total current. That's the current coming out of our source. So that'll be I two T. So that's I T two, excuse me. And so again, that's Ohm's law, voltage over resistance. And so that's going to be forty two over fourteen. So in this case, that's going to be three amps. So we have three amps coming out of our source. So now we can figure what our current is through R2. This will be again from the second source. Again, it's just a current divider. So that's our total current, three, times the resistor that we're not interested in, which is the three ohm over both the resistors and the divider, so that'd be three plus six. And when we calculate that, uh, that's going to be nine over nine, so that's one amp, one amp. And in both cases, it's pushing the current this direction, so uh, down through the resistor. So that being the case, we can now, from superposition, say that I uh, R2 will be equal to I R2 from the first source plus I R2 from the second source. So in this case, I R1 from the first source uh, is 2 amps. I R2 from the second source is 1 amp. And so we should expect to see a total of 3 amps uh, flowing in resistor R2.